Good day everybody, uh, today we have Shishiba Satellite L50-A uh, In this model uh, we want to replace the screen Now ideally when you replace the screens you have to remove the battery But in this model the battery was internal And for the sake of the video I don't want to make it too long So I done the replacement without removing the battery uh, So you gotta be extra careful when you uh, replace the screen uh, but yeah, just follow the lines with me and I'll show you how to do it for real. Now, the screen's got dots, massive ones, and today we're gonna replace it with a refurbished screen. So we're not gonna use a brand new screen, but it doesn't matter. So you just buy the screen from laptopscreen.com or eBay, Amazon. Now, first thing first, remove the two plastic cover covering the screws. Uh, it's sort of blends in with the bezel so you can't really see it properly and use something really sharp to pry it open. Once you do that then use double zero flip screwdriver and slowly unscrew the the two screws that are holding the bezels in place. <clears throat> if you use it, just a, just a pointer, if you use a flip screwdriver that's not magnetized, use get a magnet and rub it against the the, the, the screwdriver it makes it magnetized. Now back to the bezel. <clears throat> Get your fingers under the bezels and slowly pry it outwardly in 90 degree angle. You can use a prying tool, but you don't really need to be honest because there's no gluing. It's basically these clips are holding the bezel in place with the the, 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 the assembly of the screen. So slowly pry it open, and they easily come off. You do need to put a bit of pressure, uh, so yeah, confidently go ahead and do that. Don't be shy away because they do need a bit of force for it to come off. Slowly work your way around it to the bottom of the screens, and once you've done that, then there's four screws holding the screens in place. Each one on each uh, bracket, there's four brackets on the screens. Um, they are smaller screws, screws, so don't mix the two screws up. Uh, these two screws are smaller than the ones that are holding the business in place. <clears throat> so once you've done that, uh, then just put the screens down, and and there you go. It exposes the LCD cable. There's a there's a tape that holding the securing the bezels, uh, the, the, the LCD cables in place. Slowly pry it open and lift it up and then put it back in place. That's it guys. Uh, it's not really complicated. It's a pretty simple process. And the process is pretty much the same on a lot of Toshiba satellite L50 models. Now the older models used to have the battery. Uh, so this is the part you're gonna be very careful when you place the screens. The connections have to be aligned properly. You don't want to put the wrong pin on the wrong pin on the screens. So make sure they're aligned exactly where it needs to be and just push it right in. Uh, so yeah, it's um, <clears throat> it's not a biggie. Uh, but yeah, you gotta be extra careful. <clears throat> not just now, but in any case, you gotta be careful with the, the, the LCD uh, cable because the LCD cable is very, very fragile. So if you bend one pin, uh, then unfortunately the display wouldn't work. So you gotta be careful on that. And, and just as a pointer, if you sometimes get no display, sometimes because the pin on the LCD cable is faulty. That's it.